In today's video, we'll discuss Jericho Rosales' former business venture and why the Filipino star was forced to shut it down. Here's Jericho Rosales' heartbreaking story about closing down his barber shop. Jericho Rosales, popularly known as Echo, made headlines in 2021 when he recalled the painful experience of closing down his barber shop business to Los Mani Lenio. In an exclusive interview with Philippine Entertainment Portal, the actor and singer said that letting go of his employees was the hardest part. It was one of the most heartbreaking experiences as a business owner because I had big plans for the barber shop. Jericho said, not just for the barber shop, but to tell your employees that it's over and, you know, to give them their final salary or 13th month pay or something or whatever it is that you can give them and saying goodbye to them is really painful. He continued, then saying goodbye, personally closing the shop, and then personally collecting all of the things inside the shop and saying goodbye to it was really, really difficult. The Forevermore star, who started his career nearly two decades ago, also revealed that he tried offering his laid-off employees some sort of help and support. So to give them a start, Jericho donated some of the equipment from the barber shop. I did as simple as giving them clippers and, you know, barbering equipment so they can do home service, he said. I thought of donating my equipment to some people. It's still there. Talos Monilenio was a top-rated barbershop located in Jericho's hometown of Quezon City, Philippines. It had two branches in the city, one at Cubao Expo and another in Belin, Tawak. Since its opening in 2015, Talos Monilenio was highly popular among customers who kept coming back for not only the beloved celebrity owner, but also for Talos' incredible service. Unfortunately though, the barber shop had to be shut down in October 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic. According to data obtained in 2021, nearly 70% of Philippine businesses were ordered to close as the country implemented strict lockdowns. It also estimated that nearly 10.9 million workers faced job disruption and unemployment in the aftermath of the pandemic and multiple businesses, including barbershops, salons and spas, had to lay off their employees. Besides the economic and financial setbacks, losing to Los Monilenio was also emotionally challenging for Echo as the actor had to permanently close the doors to his go-to place. It's sad to say goodbye. It was the one place where I could go on a Sunday and, you know, have a drink, have a haircut, and relax. Now, I cut my own hair, he said. It could have evolved into something else, you know. At the end of his interview, Echo acknowledged that he tried his best to keep his venture going and there's nothing more he could have done to battle the pandemic's impact. Jericho Rosales has a current net worth of $3.5 million, so it shouldn't be too surprising that he's made several profitable investments. In 2015, the Shargao star became a celebrity endorser and investor in Kuya J, one of the fastest rising restaurants in the Philippines. Echo announced the partnership via an infamous meet and greet with fans who flocked to the restaurant just to get a selfie with the beloved star. He also mingled with the local media and bloggers before treating everyone to a jamming session. Echo won the crowd with his hit song Pusan Lagaw, as well as popular tracks from other artists including Basil Valdez's You, Gary V's De Bali Na Long, Joshua Cadison's Beautiful In My Eyes, and Eric Clapton's Change The World. It's been 8 years since then, and Kuya J has been doing incredibly well. In just 2 years, the customer favorite eatery opened over 100 branches nationwide. We've always wanted to reach the 200 stores, said Kuya J's Chief Operating Officer, Danny Pumarega. We did 100 stores in two years. Given the experience we had the last two years, I think it's easier for us to put up the next 100. Kuya J's incredible food and 30-year experience in the culinary industry are surely the main contributors to its growing success. But the role of Jericho's endorsement cannot be denied. Just ask the restaurant's president and CEO, Wing Lip Chang. Jericho is a very good ambassador for us, Chang said. His personality is wholesome, he's very approachable, he doesn't have this diva air. Kuya J is like that. It's the image of the brand. Chang added that Jericho's stardom was a big boost to the business. He's one of the award-winning drama actors in the country and the best Kuya to his family. 
What's very inspiring about him is his trait of always putting his heart into everything that he does, especially when touching people's lives. He landed his first TV role in 1996 before gaining international stardom for his roles in multiple soap operas during the early 2000s. These include Sanai Wala Nang Wakas, Dahil Mai E Songi Ka, and the fan favorite Pangaku Sayo, which has aired in over 20 foreign countries. Since then, Echo has started several award winning projects like The Legal Wife, Luck at First Sight, and The Girl in the Orange Dress. Well, guys, that about does it for today's video. Are you a Jericho Rosales fan? Then let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon to be notified of our latest content. We'll see you in the next one, and until then, take care and goodbye.